Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am super excited to show you a game changer for content creators, the brand new script to video AI feature in CapCut. Now imagine never having to write or film video content again. This mind blowing tool takes your scripts and automatically generates stunning videos with music and captions and even voiceovers. Are you someone who has a million ideas but just struggles to put them in video format? Or maybe you just don't have the time or resources to film and edit yourself. Guess what? This tutorial is for you. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about using the CapCut script to video feature. From generating scripts to customizing your video into a masterpiece. And by the end of this video, you'll be creating amazing videos like this. In minutes, even if you have zero editing experience. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to access and navigate the script to video feature, different script generation options, including AI prompts and manual inputs, customizing your video with music captions, voiceover and footage, editing and fine tuning your video for perfection, exporting and sharing your finished masterpiece. So get ready to unleash your inner filmmaker and start creating professional looking videos with ease. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to use this new script to video AI feature. It's really, really cool. Uh, pretty much converting your scripts to a video. And if you are like me, that's just got a lot to say and just don't know how to put a whole lot into video, this could be very, very helpful for you. But I am going to show you how you can actually use this right now so you can get to creating amazing videos with this feature. And it's just so cool. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is, you know, log into your CapCut account and uh, you could go to the script AI video here. You could go to the magic tools just to see what's also new. So it, this is it right here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do then is click generate because then it is going to open it up. Now, what is so cool is you can create the script in here, as you can see, you know, you could create the script in here or you can. Also, just place your script in there. You know, you could copy and place your script. So you could create your script somewhere and then just paste it here, as you can see, or enter your script yourself. So in this instance, we're going to use, we're going to press the forward slash and we're going to say create or, you know, write a script that mentions how important it is to, sorry important it is to do social media posts every week and that we can help with that or that our agency can help with that or that our agency can help with that now why am i doing this because you might be a business and you're wondering how can i use this well this is a way that's what i'm showing you on how you can actually do it so you have the option option to have a, a narration script or a commercial script so but we'll just do it on the narration script round so right now we say write a script that mentions how important it is to show it is to post social media to have social media posts every week and that our agency can help with that and then our agency, let me see, I'm just going to put our name here and see how that turns out. Okay. And I'll hit the send button. So now, as you can see, it says the script is being generated. AI writer will generate scripts for you. Now we have the script here. So, Hey guys, have you ever thought about how important it is to have social media posts every week? I mean, it may seem like a daunting task, but it's crucial for the success of your business. So it has created the script for me here, as you can see. If I don't like the script after reading it, I can discard it. If I want to use the script, which in this instance, we're just going to use it so I could show you how it works. All you have to then do is click use script and we have our script here. So once you click use script, it adds it in there and any tweaks that you want to make in here, you can actually edit it. Anything you want to do, you can make your edit there. And also you want to just make sure you're looking at um, everything to make sure that this is exactly what you want to be generated in the video. Okay, now as you can see at the bottom here, now we have the opportunity to generate the video and I'm gonna click generate video right now. And you have the opportunity to do a custom generation, which is you being able to add the media to match the script yourself. If you wanna do all that hard work, right? Now, if you do wanna do less work, <laughs> smart work, right? Working harder and smarter, harder and smarter. Um, but you know, in all honesty, you might have like your own 
objects that you want to put there. So I'm just just joking here. So smart generation, though, it'll generate the video with material suitable for the script for you. And you get to choose your voiceover. You get to choose your voiceover. So in this instance, what I've been using is the serious female because we've been doing news and updates. And so you have your templates to pick, whether it's 16.9, 9.16, one by one. And then you click generate video. And here we are going to have it showing up very soon. Now, once it shows up, you will see the magic that this cap cut tool is becoming. It is just so amazing. This is just going to make life a whole lot easier for you. Okay. So there it is. It has created the video. It has added uh, the uh, captions in there based on our script. If you play it, may seem like a daunting task but it, but is, it is crucial, crucial for, for this okay so now you can go back and edit the script if everything in the script just doesn't work for you you could go back right there and edit it or if you want to edit the video now i'm going to show you how to edit the video if you do like it if you watch this and you're completely satisfied with it all you have to do is click export and then you can download it or you can actually stay till the end and i show you how you can download it after exporting it. But right now I'm going to show you how you can edit it because there's a likelihood that after all this generates, you will want to make changes. So this is how you can edit your video in CapCut. And these are the videos that have been generated with the AI tool. So what happens now is it then generates your... Um, uh, your, your 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 captions to the left here, as you can see, and you could actually still make changes to your captions here. So you have your images here. If you play it, you will see that it's showing all these images that it has actually um, matched to the text. And I think that's really, really cool. And I will say, I will tell you this, I've used some tools like this and the images are just not they just don't really match. I will say that one of the things that makes this one so unique is the images for at least a 90% is what I've noticed. 90 to 95%, they really match. So now you have it here. You have your voiceovers, um, your captions here, and you can make those changes. And if you do make a change, you will notice that the tool will analyze and make a change. So I'm going to make a change to the, uh, the BizCron Media here the period, but I'm going to make it an exclamation mark just to show you what happens. So by doing that, uh oh, no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. Sorry. Uh, let's go back. Okay. So see that? Let me just do this and see what happens again. Sorry. But you will see where it says it's just analyzing. Once you go out of there, see, applying to text speech. So it makes the changes. That's what's really cool. And I'm going to delete it again. So you can make your changes, just showing you that you can make your changes to the left here. Okay. And as you can see, it makes the AI changes. Now, what I think is really, really cool also is that you can add your own videos. So let's say you go to, this is your media here. You can upload your own media. And what you've uploaded is already in the cloud. So over here, we've uploaded stuff already. And this is our outro here. This is the outro to our company, our outro for our company here. Where is it? Um, right here. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, it just automatically goes to the end here to complete that, you know. So I'm going to say play. Boom. And that's it. So you can add your own images now. If you actually see an image that you don't like and you want to replace, this is so cool. So this is how to replace an image in your cap cut. This is so cool. Why I say it's cool is because, you know, replacing images might involve you adjusting the length and all that, the you know, the time frame and all that. Well, what is so cool with this AI tool, or at least that I've noticed, is if you don't like, let's say I don't like this, this image over here, and I just want to replace it with this Facebook image over here. All I have to do is drag it and make sure that it goes on top of the image. As you see, can you notice I'm putting it on top of the image and it replaces the image exactly per the time frame. So you don't have to worry about this image being too long or too short. Once you put it in here, it matches it. And I just think that is so, so cool because 
you know, that is so, so cool. It just makes life a lot easier. All right. Now that we have our, our projects, we could say here, you title your product, importance of social media posts. And again, I'm doing this because uh, you might be a business and you're looking, how can I use this as a business? Well, you can see now we're a business. We do social media posts for clients and see how we're using it now, you know, just to give you an idea. So there are ways that you could use it if you're a business just to create this content that people will resonate with, right? All right, so important social media, that's the, the title. And now what you'll notice here at the bottom is the music, right? So I don't want the music because I don't know who owns the music, right? So I'm just going to delete that right there because I don't want the music. We have our own music here. We have our own audio here. Let me go back to the media files. And that is what I'm just going to use over here and then just drag it right here. Or just hit the plus sign and it goes in there. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back. And then let's start here, because keep in mind, wherever you have this bar, your your I, I don't even know what what the name of the bar is at this point is where when you drag things here, things will start from. So you could see. Oh, no, sorry. I'm just going to hit the plus button. I'm just going to tap on it, actually. And it just goes in there. Tap, as you can see, and it goes down to the bottom. So now we have our own music because I don't know whose music that is. And I just want to be wary of that. And so let me hit play. Have you ever thought about how important it is to have social media posts every week? I mean, it may seem like a daunting task, but it is crucial for the success of your... Isn't that cool? And so that's how you can do that. Now, if I want to edit the, the song, because I could see the song is too long here. Of course, I'm just going to... Let's see if I can split the song here. I'm going to split that to the right here. And then I'm going to delete this part because I don't need it. Oops. Delete. Delete this part of the song. Oh, let's put it again. Delete. And then let's go back. So we've cut the song, only the parts that we need. Now, if I want to fade out in the song, because once the song ends, you want it to sort of fade out, right? If you do want, this is how you can fade out a song in CapCut. So this is your music, your audio, right? You want to fade out your audio, you tap on it. That's me double clicking on it, all right? I just double clicked on it. Now you can see the volume here. I could reduce the volume a little bit because I actually think that's a little loud. Uh, just to figure out where we want it. And then I could do the fade out right here. So as I fade it out, you will notice the, ch the, the fading out showing at the bottom here as I move it. So I'm going to move it back again. You could look at the bottom there and you see the fade outs, fade out, fade in, fade out, fade out. And here we go. Okay. So I'm going to play it now and you'll see. There we go. And it goes out. And that's how you can do it. Now, once you're good, let's say you like this. Once you've looked at it and you're pretty good with everything that's in here. Very simple. All you do again is go to the export button to the top right here. You click your export. Make sure your file name is what you want it to be. You choose your resolution. In this instance, it's a 1080 resolution that we are using. Uh, you export your file. And you see as it's exporting. If you don't like it or something comes to mind, you want to add and you want to cancel it. Of course, that's the cancel button. If not, let it be. Just leave it alone as it's exporting and showing you at what rate it's exporting at. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming along. It's coming along. And again, guys, this is a phenomenal tool, man. I mean, this is just amazing. This just makes life a whole lot easier. So we have our video here. So I can click download here now. And once I click download, we have our video downloading and it's ready to be uploaded to wherever you want to upload it to. Now, I hope this was helpful. This is amazing. I think I think it would be really helpful for a lot of people that just want to put a lot of videos out there and just have not figured out a way to. So I hope this was helpful. If it is like the video. Subscribe to our channel so you can always be able to see how you can use these new updates and these new tools because we, we just try to look for them so that we can put it out there for you and see how you can easily use them. So till next time, take care.